Hello, I want to show you how the showcase template for the 2011 theme works. So, first of all what we need to do is to make a new sticky post. The showcase template revolves around sticky posts, excuse me, <coughs> pardon me. The, the showcase template, it, it, the way it works is by fishing out sticky posts and automatically putting them in a little slider type feature at the top of the page and then it gets your other recent posts and puts them underneath so what we're going to do is make a new post so we've got posts add new that one and we're going to call this one white radio right so we only need some text to put in this page So we'll just a bit of dummy text there just to make a pretend page. Oh look, there we go. Click the paste from word button and paste our text in. Right, so now we've got an a page with some text. But what we need, we we need um a, a featured image. So if we go down here, does this part here that says featured image so we click set featured image now I've already got one in the media library well I'll, I'll upload a new one and then it's um, white radio we're looking for no, can't see it it's that one there we go Then we click use as featured image this bit here. That's it, it's done the job. So we can close the box. And there's our featured image. Now this featured image wants to be 500 pixels wide or more. So next what we need to do is to make the post sticky. So to make a post sticky what you do, when it says publish here, if you can't see these options make sure you click screen options and tick all of these boxes and these boxes will enable these things here so when it says publish if that's not open just click the down arrow and then look for visibility and then click the little edit tag there and then click stick this post to the front page and click publish and that's it you made a sticky post so we'll view the post now you can't see the image but the image will appear in the slider that we're making if you want it to you can put pictures in here as well um, so that's, a, that's our sticky post made next we need to add a showcase page now a showcase but I'll just show you what the front page looks like at the moment that's the front page at the moment just like a blog um, a series of blog posts so the front this this um, showcase template makes it look a lot nicer so let's make it, it the showcase template will only work with uh, pages not with posts you can't set a post to have the showcase template so we need a new page so pages add new now all we need to do is set the title so we'll call this one um, but we'll call it showcase it doesn't actually need to be called showcase I'm just using that name because that's that's what the, the tutorials about so all we've done is put a title we made a new page not a post it's a new page we've called it showcase or call it anything you want we've not put any content in here you can put content there if you want to but you don't need to wordpress is going to fish out the content it needs automatically it's going to get it from the database so at uh, the side here where it says template you want to choose showcase template so you've made a page it's got no content inside it you've chosen the showcase template and then just click publish and now as if by magic when we view the page 
all this content has been put in by WordPress. And now what we've got here, this top bit here, these are sticky posts. So all the posts you've made that are sticky, WordPress will automatically find them and put them here. And the reason we made a, um, uh, a featured image, we added a featured image to our post, is because WordPress automatically uses the featured image in this area here. Right, then beneath that, that's the most recent post here. This is not a sticky post, but it's your most recent post. And WordPress has automatically found that and put it there for us. And then these are all the posts below, and it just links to them. So, what we need to do now, we're going to set this page as our front page. At the moment, it's not. So if we go to our front page, it's not set as the front page. So, we need to go to um, your settings, reading, and then this page here, where it says, so where are at now? Settings, reading, and where it says front page displays, you can have either your latest posts, but we're going to change that to be a static page. Now to do this, you've got to, you've got to actually have a page to use. So you've got to make the page before you can do this. Um, so if we click that, a static page, we'll click the little button and choose showcase, which is what we've just made. We could have called that page anything, but we chose to call it showcase. Right now, as well as doing that, this blog post to show at most, where it says 10 there, um, if we look at our showcase page down here this is th that number 10 refers to these here so I've only made four posts I made this site just to show you how it worked so um, if you add if you change this number that number there blog post blog pages to show at most that affects how many links will be here if I had 10 links it would show 10 but it wouldn't show 11 so that, that's how you change how many links to show there. Right, now the sidebar, let's just have a look at the sidebar. Um, appearance, widgets. You've got two sidebars in 2011 theme. You've got the main sidebar and you've got showcase sidebar. And they're independent of each other. The show, showcase sidebar will only appear on... Um, on showcase, the showcase page and the main sidebar will appear on um, all pages that you use that use a, a there's a template called sidebar template and if you use the sidebar template main sidebar will appear there and showcase sidebar will appear on the showcase page this page here so this sidebar here is this one showcase sidebar and all you do is just drag widgets into the sidebar um, this one is a, a image widget. I don't know if you've seen the image widget. Uh, it's a plugin called Image Widget. And you just download it. So if you go to plugins and then search it in the plugins um, part of the thing, you can you can add new and you can search for um, this Image Widget plugin. It's a really it's a really useful plugin. So where did we get to before I got sidetracked? We were in appearance widgets. And what you can do with this uh, showcase sidebar image widget, there we go. Um, it lets you add images to your sidebar really easily. You just click the button and you can upload them in the same way that you do any other images in your media library. So that's that bit done. What's next? Well, that's more or less all you need to know. Um, so what we've done, we've made some sticky posts. There's five sticky posts here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we've made the uh, image, the um, featured image for the sticky post is 500 wide or more. And then we made a showcase template. Well, we made a page and we um, assigned the page as a showcase template. And that's all we needed to do. Right, now I've made you some slides to, exp to just to sort of go through 
and remind you of what we did in the video so in a nutshell this is all you have to do you need to make an empty page and assign it the showcase template and WordPress will automatically pull in the content it uses sticky posts for the top slider your most recent non sticky post to display below the slider and links to other recent posts are displayed below this showcase has its own sidebar you set it up independently of the main sidebar right now the best bit would be the, I've made three more slides for you to look at just to remind you of what we did in the video but as you get to these slides just stop the video and read the slides and it'll give you it will remind you of what you need to do to set this up uh, this bit here settings reading blog pages short most that's how you control how many um, links at the bottom so we'll go to the next one things you need to to set up the showcase template to make it work um, your featured images need to be 500 pixels wide right and then the last slide this tells you the image sizes you need for 2011 so the sticky post image is 500 pixels wide sidebar images 187 pixels wide footer images 262 pixels wide footers work in exactly the same way as the sidebars if you look where you side if you look below sidebars you'll see um, in the widget area you'll see footer one two and three and the pictures for that need to be 262 if you're going to use three images in your content area the maximum image, image size is 585 pixels and you, you can have three columns one two or three columns in the footer if you have a single wide column if you just use column number one um, you can have it 5, 850 wide if you have two columns you could use column one and column two and that image is 408 wide and then that'll make it it'll sort of split the bottom of the screen in half or you can have three three images with three footer widgets or three footer um, areas 262 wide the header image if you want to, to change the header image of your 2011 theme needs to be 1000 by 288 pixels you can also make sticky posts with a large image like that in them if you want to anyway I'll have to leave it there but I'll just quickly show you I've got uh, I'm going to put a link below the uh, th this video on YouTube to a, a website where there's a bit more information I'll put a direct link to this page the particular page that's about the, the showcase template and it's at pressuser.com but I'll put a link to that in the box in YouTube just below the video thanks for watching I do hope you like using 2011 theme it really is a good theme if you spent a bit of time learning how it how it works it's a really good theme thanks for watching and I hope to see you later bye